hello beauties welcome to today's video today we're gonna go ahead and be working on my grandma's nails since it is her birthday month if you guys haven't already please like and subscribe and let me know what you think about today's video so i went ahead and pushed back her cuticles so i'm gonna go ahead and be doing that for all 10 fingers once i've pushed back her cuticles i'm gonna go ahead and be clipping off her nails and again that will be for all 10 fingers now i'm going in with a hand file this hand file was included as a gift from some buffers that i got off of amazon from the car lash store now what i'm doing is i'm going in with the sanding band and just removing off all the shine of her natural nails these sanding bands I also got off of Amazon. I'll make sure I'll link everything down below. Once I've removed the shine, I'm dusting off the nails and I'm going in with a lint-free wipe and some swipe. Next, I'm going in with the protein bond and I'm gonna be applying that to all 10 fingers and I'll be applying it two times. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and be putting on the tips and just sizing it from sidewall to sidewall. I will be using my McCart glue to glue down the tips. And once that's done, I'm just going in and clipping them to her desired length. My grandma likes them very short, so I am doing just that. And right here, I'm just basically sizing them up, making sure they're even. Going in with the file now, making sure everything is nice and straight and squared and even. I am using the Panna File 80 Grit, which is also from Amazon. So today I will be using the Young Nails Monomer along with the Milky White and Acrylics Acrylic Powder and the Young Nails Cover Rosebud Acrylic Powder. So what I like to do is I actually like to start with the Milky White on the tips, putting that on all 10 fingers. And once I do that, I basically then go in with my Rosebud Color and I basically just go ahead and go in and ombre it in to the nail. I feel like this is just so much easier than, you know, going one by one. And the Milky White is perfect for making this ombre. It's really, really effortless when you add that Milky White and the pink together. Once I'm done filling all the nails, I'm going in with my 80 grit file and shaping up all 10 fingers. Once my nails are nice and filed, I like to take my Kiara Sky e-file with the mandrel sanding band and the mandrel barrel. And basically, I just like to go ahead and go over all 10 nails with the sanding band just to make sure everything is nice and smooth. Since I didn't apply the acrylic too thick, I don't really need to waste much time in removing product. Now I'm going in with a sponge buffer, and this is the card lash buffer, and this is the mini buffer. So I'll go ahead and make sure I link these down below. It is 100 grit that I am using. When I'm done buffing the nails, I like to just go ahead and remove all the dust. Once I remove the dust, then I'll go ahead and go in with a lint-free wipe and some Young Nail Swipe to go ahead and make sure that I clean the nails thoroughly, make sure I don't leave behind any kind of dust. Next is my favorite part, which is going and adding the last touch-ups, which is the designs, crystals, anything like that. So in this case, we're basically just going to go ahead and be doing a cute little blinged out moment for my grandma on her special day. So what I am doing to add the bling, I'm basically taking the McCart Nail Rhinestone Glue. So that's what I dabbed on with a little nail art brush. And what I like to do is once I dab that on, I like to go in with a top coat just to make sure that I don't have any kind of like glue residue when I add those big chunky gems. You do want to go ahead and just move it around, make sure it is centered before you cure it. And I'll go ahead and be curing it in the LED lamp for 60 seconds. And then once that's out of the LED light, I'll go ahead and start placing my smaller gems 
on the other fingers. When everything is nice and cured, I'll go ahead and go in and put my cuticle oil. This is by Pro Nails in the scent Peach. This set came out so beautiful. If you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think about these nails down below in the comments. 